Hello, and welcome back to my Nespalm. My name is Brian, and today we're going to explore Cosign, a fantastic tool for signing and verifying container images to improve the security of your deployments. I will guide you through the process of signing an image, verifying it, and even working with the software bill of materials using Cosign. Let's dive in. So Cosign is a project developed by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation's project called SigStore. It is designed to provide cryptographic signing and verification for container images, ensuring that they are authentic, unmodified, and come from a trusted source before deployment. First, let's install Cosign. Assuming that you have the Go command line tool and language installed, run go install github.com slash sigstore slash cosign slash cmd slash cosign at latest. This will put the binary in gopath slash bin. So we can find that by doing ls go and gopath slash bin. And as you can see, it's right there. Now that we have cosine installed, let's generate a key pair for signing our container images. Let's do cosine generate dash key dash pair. I'm not going to do a password but you should for secure deployments. This will create two files, cosign.key and cosign.pub. Make sure you keep your private key secure and distribute the public key to those who need to verify your images. Now, let's send a container image. For this demo, we'll use a sample image called Gother. Make sure to replace it with the name of your own image. So let's do cosign, sign, dash dash key, cosign.key, and then we need to do the registry. So for me, that's localhost, colon 5000. And then let me copy the image right here. The password. And that will sign the image for me. Now that the image is signed, anyone with your public key can run cosign, verify, dash dash key, and then cosign dot pub this time. And then they do the registry, so localhost 5000 and the image. If the verification is, is successful, you'll see information about the image and its signature. Now let's talk about working with SBOMs. To attach an SBOM to your assigned image, first generate the SBOM for your application. You can use a tool like SIFT, which supports various outputs. For this example, we'll generate an SPDX SBOM. So let's do SIFT, local host, colon 5000, slash, and then this is the image. And then we need to set an output, so dash O SPDX, and then we want to put it into sbomb.spdx. Now with the sbomb generated, we can attach it to our signed image using cosign. So let's do cosign, attach sbomb, dash dash sbomb, and then we want to do dot slash sbomb.spdx. And then the registry, localhost, colon 5000, and then the image. The SBOM is now attached to your image. To download and verify the SBOM, run cosine download SBOM, localhost, colon 5000, and then the image. And as you can see, this is an SPDX SBOM. So this will download the SBOM and you will be able to inspect it to ensure that the dependencies are as expected. And that's it. With Cosign, you can easily sign and verify your container images as well as work with SBOMs to have a clear understanding of your application. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.